In this video, I'm going to show you a Joplin Notes tutorial. So Joplin is an open source note taking and to do application that has gained popularity for its flexibility, privacy and cross platform support. So whether you're looking to organize your work, personal projects or academic notes, Joplin provides a powerful free solution tailored to your needs. In this video, I'll guide you through the basics of Joplin, how to set it up and make the most of its features. But before we get started, what is Joplin first? Joplin is a versatile note-taking application that supports markdown for rich text formatting and allows you to sync notes across devices. It's ideal for individuals seeking a private, customizable, and robust platform to store and organize their information. So now let's get started. So to use Joplin, simply go into their website, which is joplinapp.org. And from here, you want to download the app. So simply click on download the app, download and install the app, and then open it. Now, after downloading and installing, this is how the app should look like. So what's good about this app is that after installing, you will see instructions right here on how to use Joplin. So as you can see, there is this five pages right here. It says, welcome to Joplin. So as you can see, you can always read this if you want. So they have uh, good instructions right here here on how you can use it. Also see this importing and exporting notes pages. You can also import your notes to Evernote and other apps. Also synchronize your notes. You have the tips right here and the privacy policy. So now to get started, this is how Joplin should look like. So we have our notebook right here in the top left. So if you want to add a new notebook, just click on the plus icon and add the title for your notebook. I'm just going to type in test. And you can also create the icon. You can also add an icon such as the emoji right here. Or, or if you want, you can select an image file. So let's say I'm just going to select this emoji. Click on OK. And now, as you can see, this is our new notebook. Now to add a note to this notebook, just click here on New Note. Now you can create a new note right here by adding a title, say test. This should be our title right now. Now you want to click on this uh, blank space, which is the body. And from here, of course, you can add the note that you want. So let's say subtitle. And then you want to add your header or intro. And then from here, you can add the body and the conclusion. But of course, it still depends on you and how you want to create your note. You can always add small notes if you want. So if you want, uh, if you need to save an article or a paragraph, or any text that you want, you can always copy that text first and paste it right here. And if you want to add a, another note, just click on new note again. Say test number two. And as you can see, this is how it should look like. So you will have your different notes organized right here in one notebook. Again, if you want to add a new note, three. And what's good about a Joplin is that you can, uh, you will have the Docs or Microsoft Word features right here, such as uh, bulleting your notes, adding numbers, creating checkboxes, adding a, adding a heading, as you can see, horizontal rule. You can also insert the time right here. And of course, you can toggle external editing. So if you click on that, you can uh, use other apps. 
to edit your note, such as Adobe Acrobat. From here, you can also edit your text. You can make it bold, you can make it italized. And of course, you can uh, add hyperlinks, codes, and uh, files. Or uh, yeah, you can just simply attach files. Now from here, if you want to create a to-do note, we have this feature also right here. Click on new to-do. So let's say clean the house. As you can see, this is how it should look like. So if you're done with it, you can always click on the checkbox right here. So that's uh, this is what makes Joplin good. They are really organized and easy to use. You can also toggle the uh, can, the arrangement right here, whether you want it ascending or descending via the uh, completion date or due date. And that's basically how you can use this notes. And now if you want to synchronize your notes, you can always click here on synchronize in the lower left corner of the screen. And as you can see, you can either synchronize your note to Joplin Cloud, to Dropbox, or to OneDrive. So let's say you are frequently using OneDrive in your work. So just click or select on OneDrive. As you can see, a file hosting service operated by Microsoft. You can sync your notes right here. In Dropbox, you can also sync your notes. But Joplin recommends Joplin Cloud so you can sync your notes publish your notes to the internet, and collaborate on notebooks with others. So if you want, you can always create an account on Joplin Cloud and synchronize your notes right there. And for the other features of Joplin, you can also create tags. So as you can see, if you want to export your notebook or your note, you can right-click. And as you can see, you can export it as a uh, Joplin export file. You can export it as a markdown or an HTML file. So, of course, you can also click here on File to import or export or to synchronize or to create new notebook or sub notebook. Here on Edit, we can also edit our texts such as bold, italic, the hyperlines, our hyperlinks or codes right here. View, as you can see, you can simply edit the layout sidebar of the application and here notebook note tools and help so that's basically all of the features of joplin so simply explore the app yourself and you'll be using joplin in your needs in no time so that's basically it for this video so if you find this video helpful please hit like and subscribe thanks